guys it's andrea welcome back to sew with me number two for the hometown holiday holiday stockings quilt that's what it's called holiday stockings quilt with using the hometown holiday collection i got this from fat quarter shop whom i shall link down below in the description box i am an affiliate for them so it greatly helps me if you do use my link when you shop this is video two you remember in the first video we were putting the parts of the stocking together we only have one section left of to do that before we start building our stockings putting these two g with these this is the toe of our stockings Just using a fourth of an inch seam allowance. I'm trying to get my new retire schedule, <laughs> you know, more defined and more productive. It's just really hard when I'm running kids back and forth all freaking day. I'm still a taxi. But anyway, I, I hope that I'm going to be able to do at least two blocks so two sewing videos a day um, not posts but just my production and that way i'll stay a little bit ahead and i'm hoping i can uh, make it where most of the time on the weekends i'm not doing anything so i can you know have quality time with the kids when they're out of school too and uh, my goal is to do this while they're at school sewing and unboxings and stuff so we'll see how that goes that's the plan of course there will be always exceptions to that if there's special events or special boxes or it's a holiday or whatever you know I got so many unboxings done yesterday. I got, I'm all, well, I was all caught up last night. I'm not now because more packages came in the mail, but I'm so glad I got caught up. I think I did like 10, 10 unboxings. But then I walked in here and realized I have a bunch of chips I need to taste test for. And then, of course, today in the mailbox, there were several more packages, so. My living room running over. With empty boxes and piles of hoard and that's another thing. I'm hoping that I can have a little time to sort through that and organize. I'm going to take it, try to make it where I do all my unboxings, like one day of the week, like on a Friday or something for the whole week. Now, whether that comes to fruition, like I said, is a whole nother story.
fabric is so stinking cute. I'm also going to be having some, uh, so, I mean, cook with me videos coming soon. I'm going to make, I'm planning on making that eggplant dinnerly meal tonight. I'm hoping that's good. I've never had eggplant. This is weird. Every time I see eggplant, I think of that. Um, do y'all remember that movie Coneheads? Hilarious movie when um, the mom Conehead sees eggplants in the grocery store and starts screaming. <laughs> I'm still working on my blocks on this side. You'll see me doing these occasionally. I'm making a scrappy crossroads and I use this as leaders and enders. with French vanilla creamer. It's super sweet and creamy and delicious. Just cut all these apart and we're gonna press them. I'm gonna press them up to the lot. Yeah, I was thinking I was going to go get some takeout Chinese again. Then I remembered I have all those dinnerly meals in there I need to cook. It's been a hot minute since I've got a food box in. I got burnt out on cooking. Which, by the way, I still have free boxes of that dinnerly left if y'all want to try it the links in yesterday's video. I have, I did have 10, two people have already claimed two, so I have eight free boxes left. All right. 
there's our tow units completed. Now we can start building our stockings. So I'm gonna take B and this unit, the heel, and we're just gonna put the cuffs on. Just don't make them the same fabric. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you, y'all. The rotary color saved me again. I almost didn't turn you back. Here I come to save the day. I'm just gonna random put these cuffs on. Like I said, as long as they're not the same fabric, tis fine. I do kind of want to make it stand out more than that, though. More, more of a contrast. I'm gonna swap sides. I, well, I turned the TV on for the first time in months, <laughs> and I watched that movie The Well with Brendan Fraser. Fan freaking tastic! Uh, two thumbs up. Of course, I bawled like a baby. I'm a big crier though. Just about every movie that there is, I probably cried in it, even if it's a comedy. <laughs> I cry happy tears, I cry sad tears, all the, all the stuffs. gonna be so friggin cute Of course, I'm using a fourth of an inch seam allowance. That's the standard. A familiar sunrise on CBS. How happy I'd be. Did I put on deodorant today? I feel like I'm sweaty. Sweaty. Do another dose just in case. I love how they did the pinking on these dolly bars. 
it's a teeny tiny pinking of the edges. So much better than the extreme zigzag edges. Thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. Y'all are the bomb diggity. Did y'all know that Jolly Bars are exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop? They're called Jolly Bars because Kimberly, the owner of Fat Quarter Shop, her name is Jolly, Kimberly Jolly. And Jolly Bars are five by 10 and they always include a free pattern. That's where I got the stocking pattern from actually, this Jolly Bar. Hometown Holiday Jolly Bar. This one would look good with the yellow, wouldn't it? shoot. I've got a bunch of yellow left and a bunch of yellow. I gotta make sure I use up all the yellow. So rest is yellow. Okay. This would be good with the green. I'm wearing a new pair of leggings today. And <laughs> people scared of them. <laughs> They're like, if you watch my unboxing, the Pop Fit, that's where they come from. I, I try them on in that unboxing. They're like plaid looking leggings. And Peepoo is freaking scared of them. <laughs> Don't know why or how. 
but he's like coming up to my lap and like, you know, doing that scared jerky thing. And then he reaches his little paw out and he's like touching the stripes and stuff. <laughs> that cat is crazy. That cat is crazy. And then when I said, it's fine, it's fine. And I showed him and I touched my leggings. He like jumped. Like, oh no, don't touch it. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, those are done. Let's pull them off. And press them. Of course, I'm pressing to the cup. That just seems the natural thing to do to me. One more coffee break. And it's finished. I did pretty good with getting in here. It's like one o'clock now. I already had to run Sam to school and back. And I'll have to leave to pick Stella up at like 310. I should be able to get both of my sewing projects done before I have to pick her up. Well, maybe not because I have to cut for tomorrow's. I have to cut for tomorrow's project. Um, so I'll probably just get the cutting done before I have to pick her up. And I'll have to stop and get gas because it's literally uh, an eighth of an inch away from the e-bar. I hate getting gas with a passion. I wish that we had gas stations that would pump it for you. I pay extra. I don't care. I just don't want to stop and fill up. I don't know why that's a big thing for me, but it's such an inconvenience. <sighs> I'm just pressing all these. I guess I can move. <gasps> no! I got my best press. Damn it. Stella's gonna have to go on a deep dive for that because it's way back there. Y'all should see the amount of empty boxes in my living room now. Y'all should see the amount of empty boxes in my garage right now. Sam needs to burn them boxes. you take me to scrap it town hot out move you back okay now we're gonna take hot this guy whoo she's hot and attach the toes now this part's not scrappy we have to match. That's why you need two Jolly Bars to do this. Because this this cut is the entire Jolly Bar, basically. Not exactly, but that's all you can get out of that cut. So you need the second Jolly Bar pack to get the toe and to get the tag that it hangs up to match. the kits. That's that's the route I wish I would have taken probably. <laughs> and I totally forgot that they were having kits because I had put it on a wait list. And then I went and bought this and then I got a notification the kits in. Well now you tell me.
now you tell me. the kits were though I'm gonna guess like 120 that's I pulled that out of my butt I don't really know but that seems a reasonable price for a kit for this to me because you don't need a lot of fabric you need the two jolly bars or a layer cake you need the pattern you need background which I'm using my white um, bolt and then if you want a colored binding, you'd need, how much do we need for binding? Um, you'd need three fourths of a yard to bind and four and a half yards backing. So what did it say, three fourths of a yard to bind? Um, where, okay, I'm trying to find this print. There it is. Yeah, but if y'all haven't watched that movie, The Well with Brendan Fraser, you should. you're not comfortable with uh, homosexuality you might not uh, like it if you aren't comfortable with that The Serpent Queen, but I don't get that channel. I think it's Stars or something. I'd have to buy another online streaming platform. And I already buy like freaking six of them or something, you know? Come on now. They're going to nickel and dime us to death with all these separate streaming services. It's ridiculous. That show looks on the previews really good. I love stuff like that.
this cutest quilt there ever was. This is gonna be so stinking cute. I like him and kiss him and squeeze him and call him George. I would say this is a very beginner friendly. If you're a beginner, don't be scared. Y'all know I was doing that Annie's Kit Club Yuletide block of the month. I'm still getting those, but if you've noticed, I haven't posted it in a hot minute. Because as someone mentioned, I didn't was not aware when I ordered that kit. It's a crap ton of like applique and template stuff in it, which I don't dig. So my production of that came to a slamming halt. I really don't want to finish it. I'm thinking of giving the whole freaking thing away. Like, <laughs> sending my first few finished blocks and the rest of the kits to someone. Because um, I don't think I'm going to finish it. Would y'all be interested in such a thing if I did? Of course, you'd have some of my blocks in there already done. And you might go, E God, this is horrible. But you could always rip the pieces apart and re-sew it if you didn't like how that did with it. And there's extra fabric, too. Oh, shoot, that reminds me. Someone sent me an email asking if I had some leftover fabric from another kit because they messed up a cut. Girl, I can't remember who sent me that email, but I've still got it if you're watching. I'm saving it because I probably do have extra of that. Um, I'm going to look. I've got to, you know, redo my lorry cart and some of it's in the lorry cart. Wait, here's some. Um, I just got, I can't remember which picture she sent me. I got it, girl. Girl, if you're watching, is that, that's what you wanted, right? I'll send it to you. I'll send you all that extra, because I'm not going to use that fabric again. I'll send you all the extras I've got. I had actually stacked them in a giveaway um, stack over there, so that works out. I'm enjoying this quilt. That's why I love just straight up pacing because it's just so freaking fun.
I'm going to have so many Christmas stuff. I'm going to run out the beds to put them on. Run out of beds and wall space. I have to change out my wall hangings like once a week to accommodate all my Christmas stuff. It's a good problem to have, huh? The new book I started by the same dude who wrote Foe, I was telling you about Ian somebody, um, they, the new book I'm reading is good too, it's called They Spread, something like that, They Spread, um, I'm, I'm digging it, all I know so far is there's an, it's an older lady and you know, the winter of her life and she gets placed into a residential home. And she's meet I'm just at the beginning basically, her meeting the residents and all that. It's supposed to be a suspense horror kind of book. So far it's not, but like I said, I'm just in it. I'm assuming something at this residential home is going to be suspect, you know? That's what I'm assuming, but you never know with these books. Kings themselves, not the quilt. Because after the toes are on, then we're going to put on the, the tabs that we hang them by, and then the, the stockings will be complete. That's what I'm going to aim for. So then we'll 
finish in one, at the most, two more videos. together. It's probably about time for me to count up and see where I'm at on those. Four patches. I don't think I'm near done though. Put all these apart, and I'm gonna press to the toe unit because that just feels natural to me. Let's see if she says what she does. Oh, she presses to the stocking. Which, I mean, that makes sense, but. Don't mean I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Patch. Let's get these pressed. Oh, that gum it. Press them, press them, press them, press them, little fritters, fritters. Move these. So hot, so hot lately. Oh shoot! Just crinkled that too. This is like ironing with hot liquid magma. That's a pretty one. That yellow and blue, I love that one. It's really pretty. Now we just 
just have to put our tabs on. We've got 15 minutes. You think we can do it? Again, I've got to find the matches though. So you're gonna take these and you need to match to the stocking, not the cuff. So I need to find this yellow right here. And it's gonna go, can y'all see that? Like that. these other way or I'm gonna get confused some of my strips here are longer than my thing nine and a half is what this is supposed to measure but obviously that's not right this was supposed to be nine and a half which is it is She weighs it. Which she's got the moon. Favorite, the yellow and blue one. The petals acting squirrely. little rosebud. The heck are you? Show yourself. Now, dadgummit, where the heck is it? I'll come back. Maybe I dropped it in the floor or something. so weird.
This one's way off. This one's a fourth of an inch off. definitely missing that pink one and I'm definitely missing it it has to be in the floor somewhere Fifty six minutes. We're making good time. Save for the missing paint unit. Maybe I sold it on the different block accidentally. Guess we'll find out at the end if I have any left over. This mystery shall be solved. Well, I don't look like I'm gonna have any left over. I had to have dropped it on the floor somewhere. see it was literally sitting right there y'all's probably screaming at me the whole time <laughs> it was right there it's right there literally could have bit me if it would have been a snake it would have bit me
I'm going to press these to the addition, to the tab, the hanging tab. Uh, let's like look at this one. We'll take a look at one of them. There we go. What do y'all think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me's. I'll see y'all at the next one.